Hi guys, TSM here. Welcome back to the channel. So third and final installment, I believe, for the uh, the Battle Carrier. We've got the uh, the Void Arc Battle Carrier flag now. So um, I thought I'd just do the third installment of the build for the FM fleet. Um, where did we start? Where have we got to? Well, it's interesting, actually. It's not quite released as I thought. So going back to January, we thought obviously, you know, the January release was as expected. February was as expected. For this month, I thought we were going to get the flagship, which we've obviously got. And then classically, it's U1 to U3 upgrades. We haven't had that. We've actually got the April special now. Um, and U3 will come later. So I don't expect another special. I'd be surprised if there is going to be another one. Okay, so I consider this to be the final special for this fleet. And then we're going to wait... Will they make us wait till May for the X1? I'm not so sure, but um, it looks like the U3 upgrade will come next month. Anyway, uh, let's go in and take a look at the fleet, and then uh, I'll give you some recommendations on what to upgrade first, and the path, and then which ships to um, to build in, in, in which order as well, because it's um, it's it's uh, not overly complicated, but there's a good path to follow, and I recommend, um, well, this is my recommendations for it. Okay, so here we are in the dock then. Um, you can see I've got the flagship and I've got four other ships. So I had it originally, obviously, uh, five standard ships, four damage ships and one countermeasure ship. And I've replaced one of the ships, obviously, with the flagship. So um, I think first and foremost, the thing to consider is what do you do with the flagship? Well, as far as I can tell, there's no benefit of having the flagship as your countermeasure ship. And if we go back to the previous video I did, the countermeasure ship... We wanted it to be a high evade ship if possible, and we wanted them, obviously, to then try and hit us first with any incoming projectiles so that our evade would work well. I don't think having the flagship for the one to be targeted first is the wise thing to do because of the extra auras it provides you. So I would keep your countermeasure ship as one of your standard ships. Okay, and to that end as well, let's have a little look um, at the countermeasure ship itself and just have a reminder of what... Uh, what it is and also why it is what it is so for me this is the one that you obviously upgrade first i think this is the most important one to upgrade why specifically uh, you get anti-pen accuracy 20 percent that's the most important thing then to have on your cat measure ship because obviously you're going to knock down more of the incoming uh, missiles towards your towards your fleet so we can have a look at uh, upgrade timings in a moment uh, and the adjustments to the build so all these ships now i'm practically managed to fit all the new armors on and i've gone three and three at the moment okay just keeping it simple because we don't know what target's coming um but we do know now we're getting some upgrades that they are going to be more difficult i'd expect that in pillage specifically okay there's going to be a new pillage target which is only a few weeks away i know it's a four-week month this month but it's definitely going to come i haven't really changed anything at all uh i've managed to have a new uav it doesn't really matter because this uav doesn't do a huge amount of damage but if it's there why not have it uh, and i've kept obviously this mortar is irrelevant what it is but the point is it actually adds some armor points and then the armor points this one here is still slightly above by 180 compared to the other holes so that this one gets targeted first and that was the original goal all right get this one targeted first okay and the defensive then this is the one with the higher evade so 77.7 percent okay and obviously plenty of gales there and, and a couple of mds threes and, and a couple of those is enough as we've discussed previously so that's the hull I would go for first. Okay, so the next thing then, I would go for the flagship myself. Okay then. Um, so the flagship, uh, whilst it's not armored yet, it's not at ranked, and that'll be VXP weekend coming up this coming weekend. It's a full damage ship. It has the new special on it, okay? Uh, and, and what do we take off? If you remember then, it was I think it was Laser Guided Scope, I think it was, which is probably an advanced special. I'm Ryan myself, or was it? Yes, it was there. So laser scope, okay? That was what was on there before. But if you look at the penetrative damage on that one, that's 25%. And then we look at the penetrative damage now, okay? We're up a little bit more, okay, at 35%. And it's not a huge amount, but it but it all helps. So that's what I've taken off, and that's what I've put on. The range extender is still obviously there within it. It hasn't changed. It's still 30%. Uh, I've got all the new UAVs on, th this ship here. And the rest of them are all exactly the same. So we're still with the Wave Pulse Warheads. We're still with K2 Bombardment because it's got phenomenal building damage as well. We've still got the UAV targeting system. Okay. And we've still gone for the UAV Battery Mark II as well. So uh, if there was something to come next month, then maybe a new engine, but I don't think so. I mean, it's a tier 11 and we've been in this situation before. But they haven't actually provided us a new engine. They just let us roll with what was previously available. So 
it's probably not going to be available and um, we're probably just going to see u3 upgrades to be honest i think next month um but time will tell anyway so that's the next one i'd work to getting uh, to u2 so i've done this one as well um and then it's basically uh, it doesn't really matter after you've done you've done the you know the countermeasure ship you've done your flagship and then it's just picking on the other ones really to be honest upgrades um just to assist you with the upgrades this is the most important building to upgrade i think personally uh, after you've done obviously your, your your defensive stuff and your dock it's simply because this one here gives you the fastest upgrade path possible by upgrading this one here your upgrade timings do get reduced so just go for the intelligence lab uh, as your priority building over the other buildings uh, with that in mind then upgrade timelines then this one hasn't been started yet so if i go to upgrade this hole then and that's my upgrade timing now so eight hours 14 minutes so that's basically an overnight sleep isn't it so we can get that one done uh, to u1 quite quickly and that's what i've been doing basically and then um going back in again then if i look at another ship which is on uh, u1 okay and i go to upgrade that one then that's just over a day okay so literally if, if you can get the first one done overnight and then by the time you're about to go to work you put this one to, to upgrade by the time the next morning comes up you're ready to go again and then obviously you can do the next one It'll be finished at the end of the working day, and then you can upgrade again, and it'll be finished the next day. So it's not going to take too long to get these done. I would prioritize this fleet. I really would prioritize this fleet over the current raid fleet. This is going to be the important fleet moving forward for this month. Raid's nearly over anyway. Um, if you've managed to get through the raid and get, get the items that are required to get this fleet up and running, I would focus on this before you focus on the raid fleet. I would um, forego upgrading your raid fleet and leave it at U2 or U3 and that sort of stuff. Most people are seeming to manage, so I would focus on this one. And that's really about it, to be honest. So, yeah, we've got the countermeasure uh, ship there, sorry. So the countermeasure ship then currently at U2, that's the priority one to get upgraded. Then the flagship itself, get that one upgraded. The flagship is not my countermeasure hull, okay? There is no benefit to having the countermeasure hull, and in fact, it's probably and negative because the potential is that that could die first and you don't want that to happen and then just any one of the other three ships it doesn't really matter uh last thing i'll say is don't forget to put the countermeasure hull somewhere between slot three and slot four if you imagine it's an arrowhead then this is the front ship this one is on the left flank this one is on the right flank and these two are in the middle left and right just like behind the flagship so if you are being attacked from a from the front then obviously they'll try obviously if it's you know they'll try to target this ship uh, and if you've been from the flanks then it'll be one of these two holes here if you get attacked from the rear it's ship five okay clearly if there's king killer evolved it's going to go for the one with the highest armor and as, as you can tell then 12,300,000, 12, 000, 12, 000, 12 so this is quite low. But then again, the armor's not on yet, so that's the reason. Okay, but the, the countermeasure hull itself then has got that extra 180 because of that, um, that mortar, which has a little boost. So they're going to try and take that one down first. So that's it. That's my path. That's my idea. Okay, that's the fleet complete. I'm not expecting anything then uh, once I've got these to U2 to happen for this month. U3 probably next month, and in May we'll probably finish off with the X1. And that'll be us. Okay. Happy building. TSM out.